What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man who's going to change your life. Today's topic is consistency creates confidence. Sit back, enjoy the show, and let's roll. Uh, what's up, everybody? So, finally, took two, three days off here. Well, three days. I haven't done one of these in three days, which is the exact opposite of what I'm about to talk about, which is consistency. But there's a time in your life when you have to re- reset, replug, spend time with your family, spend time with the people that you love, and, and do what's important for them. So, I'm fresh off of a three-day little trip down to Tybee Island. If you've never been, you should go. With my fiance, we took a backpack weekend, and we rolled down there, and we just freaking did everything that we needed to do together. It was an amazing time, and I highly recommend just getting away and unplugging. But what I learned down there is this. The key to my success, the key to my creativity, the key to my business, the key to my life, the key to everything is cons- consistency. Consistency also creates my confidence. Consistency in the gym, the day in and day out discipline to go to the gym, the day in and day out to make these podcasts, the day in and day out to make sure that I tell her to send these videos that I love her. These days, like this routine that I build, this consistent foundation day in and day out is like this unpenetrable wall of just fucking confidence. Now, even though I was down enjoying the time with her and having an amazing time, subconsciously in my mind, my body's going, hey, what's going on here? This is different. You have written down your goals. You didn't work out. You didn't send her a video. You haven't seen your kid. You didn't do a podcast. You didn't do a post. And what I found was like this was an awesome spot for me to be in because I was able I was able to strengthen my mind. Like, okay, cool. I am actually in control of these thoughts, these emotions, actions. I get to handle them. I get to focus on, boom, focus on my girl and make the best of it. But on the other hand, what I realized was this. It's not about doing more for some of you guys. Maybe you guys are first into this, listening to it, you've been, you've been around for a while and you've been drinking still, but kind of on the edge here, starting to come up with these good habits, creative, you know, creative ways to get through the day and different things you're trying to do. And you realize like, man, I, I think if I just do more and do more and do more and do more, I need to 10X this action and, and, and completely intensify everything I do and it's going to shorten the time span up, everything is going to win. No, that's not the case. I find this. It's when you actually, it's not doing more, it's actually doing just the right things for yourself. So in our program and in what we do here, I built what's called the Comeback 7, Faith, Finances, Family, Fitness, Future, Freedom, and Foundation. And these things day in and day out, actually, um, they build the strength, the muscle reps, the mind reps, the emotional reps to be able to win throughout the day. What I want to get into for you guys is this. Even myself, from four years, you know, four years removed from drinking drugs, alcohol, all the shit that I've been through. It's those days that I don't do those little things that my confidence lacks. Now, that didn't mean that I wanted to drink. That didn't mean that I had a bunch of, like, bad places. What it means is that there's this frustration inside that I want you to get to. There's this feeling inside to where you realize that, hey, my standards for myself have been raised because the amount of work I put into myself day in and day out into this disciplined code of ethics that I live by day in and day out, and if I don't hit them, then I'm kind of fucked up. My day's off. When you can get to that point, then you realize you've actually created the new habit and the transformation that you desired. Now, I want to be very self-aware here. It's not about being a slave to this. Now, I want you to know I chose to not do the things. I chose to not write my goals. I I had plenty of time. I was doing doing an experiment on myself, kind of. Well, not kind of. I was. I wanted to see how I felt. But most importantly, I was putting my time into her. Because if you look at the first four, faith, finances, family, fitness, which those are just basically four things you need to do every single day. The most important one, even though I have it meant to be work third in my program, is your family. And it's very simple for that. The reason is if you don't believe in yourself and you don't make any money, you can't fucking take care of your wife or your kids. Simple, period. And like no, no rebuttal to that. It just is what it is. So I chose to dive all in. I chose to give her my full attention. I chose to not take any phone calls. I chose all those things. But what it did was it breeded this desire inside of me to want to come back and get on my consistent actions. And then what it did today when I was was meditating, actually, and coming back, um, looking at all my thoughts, is it made me realize that by taking that little bit of break and looking at my continuous actions that I build every single day, like you guys build, there's some stuff in there that I can actually sharpen these things. There's some areas where I can do a little bit better. Not huge. Just little 1%, 2%, 3% changes that are going to fucking make things amazing. The point of this is this. 
where across your life right now are you not being consistent? Where are you not showing up? So I'm going to be writing a book called The Comeback, The Comeback 7. I mean, I guess we don't really have the name figured out, but it's going to be the exact story of how this thing came into place. It's going to tell you about how I've tried all AA, how I tried rehab, I tried all these different pieces across my life and none of them worked because it made me incongruent in certain areas. It was pulling and pushing and just not working for me. When I laid out this code of ethics to live by, these core values, things really freaking took off for me. So where across your life, in your faith, in your finances, in your fitness, your family, your future, your freedom, your foundation, and I didn't put those in the right order, I just was listing them all, are you inconsistent? Where can you see the loopholes today that you need to work on? I know for me, I would always, always, if you look at a post that I had back a couple days ago, I would always, always, always go right back to the gym. The gym is a huge piece, right? It's the fourth fitness, but I'll put that first. And if you look at a gym, it's because there's a lot of people that are hurt that walk in there. And the gym is consistent, man. That iron does not lie. That treadmill does not lie. Like you get on and you either do the work or you don't do the work. But what happened is I put so much in there that I couldn't have any room for the other areas of my life. Well, I didn't make the room, I should say. I tried to rely on just one area. You want to create ultimate confidence. You want to create ultimate success and get in control of your thoughts, emotions, actions. If you want to create ultimate control of drinking and being able to drink for the right reasons down the road, regardless of what the fuck the world says, you need to find out these areas, find these pockets, find out where the drinking fits and find out in your life where your consistency will breed and create absolute certainty and confidence day in and day out for yourself. So today, very simple. I'm actually going to tell you something I want you to do. Get out a notebook, list off all the places in your life you feel like you're lacking, come up with a detailed strategy, and if you need help with that, reach out to my team. And maybe you just need help making the first choice. You're at the point where you're like, man, I really want to quit drinking. I can't think about this shit over here, but I just need some help. Just help me through the process the first three, four, five, six, seven days. We're here for you. As always, you're welcome to fill out the um, the link. Or I don't even know if it's on here, but whatever. It's iamacomeback.com forward slash apply. iamacomeback.com forward slash apply myself. My team, whoever gets your information, will reach out to you, and we will leave you better than we found you. That is our personal promise to us. Nothing scary, completely confidential. We don't share your, your information with anybody. We need your information so that we can actually reach out to you and contact you because we're real live people doing real live work. So today, consistency creates confidence. Get your ass to work. I'll see you on tomorrow's episode. Have an amazing day.